Ni hao. Hello in Mandarin Chinese. Welcome to Chinese Home Cooking Weeknight Show. Our demonstration today is DIY soy milk without a soy milk maker. As a milk substitute, soy milk is very popular here in the U.S. and is available in every grocery store here. People not only appreciate the nutritional values of soy milk, but also like the taste. Homemade soy milk tastes so much better than store-bought soy milk because it's fresh and does not contain any addictives. The problem is that a soy milk maker is not cheap, at least $100, and takes up a part of a limited kitchen counter space, which many people do not have the commitment for. Today, we are going to make soy milk at home without using a soy milk maker. Now, let's get started. Here's the list of ingredients. Before we start cooking, let's work on the preparation of ingredients. One cup dry soybean soaked in four cups water for one to two days in the fridge. Use filtered or spring water because the soybean picks up the taste from the water. One cup dried soybean yields about uh, two and a half cups soaked soybean. Use fingers to rub off the skin like this. We have just finishing rubbing off skins from the beans using fingers and now we're going to rinse the beans in water to remove the skin and then drain. The next step is to use a blender or food processor to process each batch for two minutes until the soaked soybeans are finely chopped. If you do not have a blender or food processor then you can use a kitchen knife. It will be a little bit slower. Each batch uses half cup soaked soybean and two cups filtered or spring water. The soybean mixture, two and a half cups soaked soybeans and ten cups water, yields six to seven cups soy milk at the end. We finished the preparation and now we are ready to cook. I have just turned on the electric wok to 400 degrees which is high heat for an electric stove and a gas stove. Also added the soy milk mixture and we're going to bring it to a boil. It takes about five minutes to come to a boil. It's been five minutes. The soybean mixture just started boiling. I just turned the heat down to medium heat, 300 degrees. We're going to cook for 10 minutes. Stir constantly to prevent skin to form at the bottom of the wok and to prevent spill over. There will be foams and skins at the top. Just stir in the skin as the skin will be dissolved by itself. For the foams, some people will remove them. I leave them in because they will be filtered out later 
along with the sole bean pops. It's been 10 minutes. I just turned off the heat, let it cool to room temperature before we filter it. The soil bean mixture has cooled to room temperature or whatever temperature you feel comfortable to working with. And we are having a large bowl and with a drainer and we have some cheesecloths on the top. So I'm using four layers. Just make sure that it catches everything. And we're going to pour in the soybean milk mixture. And we're going to pick up the top of the cheesecloth and use a tongue to help and to turn. So you turn the top one way and use the tongue to turn the other way to squeeze out as much liquid as possible. Just like that, we're going to repeat the same process with the remainder soy milk mixture. We have just finished filtering the soybean mixture. Soy milk can be served either cold or hot. Most of the people in the U.S. drink it cold. It can stay in the fridge good for five days. Do not throw these soybean pops away as they are just as nutritious as the soy milk, if not more. They can be made into other delicious dishes such as salad or even fried rice. Enjoy! Let's have a quick review of what we done. I hope you enjoy this dish, which is fast, affordable and tasty. Happy home cooking. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.